Oh. <coughs> I left a surprise on there for them. <laughs> I am back. I'm gonna cover up with this because I'm just so out of shape nowadays. Anyways, Ayo Kalichi, let's go. Welcome to the video. It's lighting. Oh my god. Are they always doing landscaping? Like all the time? And my pets. Dude, I'm a mess. I am such a mess. My allergies are horrible. So it's been about a month and a half. I gotta zoom in. So it's been about a month and a half since I made a video. But I'm back. We're back. We're back. Basically, I've been gone because of COVID. <laughs> Not because I had COVID again, but because of the COVID rules. It is very hard to make entertaining videos for you people. We got about a month and a half left at school. Not even, like five weeks, which is horrible and sad to say because I don't really want to go home, but I guess I have to. <laughs> I miss my family. I miss my friends, but this place is heaven. College is amazing. If you are going to college, you will love it. And that leads me into my next topic, which is college Q&A, college advice, stuff like that. That's what we're going to do this video all combined so let's just get right into that i'm gonna get dressed and not look like the mess i look like now here's some of my first college advice if you can get a car on campus your freshman year it makes everything so much easier you can drive everywhere go get coffee go get food go do anything like having your car on campus freshman year has been a absolute life hack for me great first question what do you do after you get accepted slash commit to a college don't fail out of high school senior slide is a thing but don't fail that hard because <laughs> i've heard of colleges actually dropping kids because they fail so bad their last quarter after they're committed so basically have a senior slide but not too hard my senior slide was one of the greatest ever this is because i was part of the covid graduation group i committed to unh right before we stopped going to school in person and right before covid became like a huge thing so we had online school for the first time and everyone was trying to adjust and stuff so i remember we had like a month off immediately so that brings it to like april probably like a month and a half left to high school i was very close to failing because i just didn't want to do the online work i was like i'm a senior i'm graduating and even the teachers said they were like you don't really have to do any of this work. I remember my English teacher was actually rapidly emailing me to hand in just one assignment so I could pass the class. I handed in that assignment, I passed, I got my diploma, and then I went to college, and college has been the greatest experience of my life. So have a senior slide, but don't let it be too hard. How do I know what college is right for me? Okay, so this is another great question. You won't know until you get there. Don't worry about making friends because everyone wants to make friends when you get to college. It's the one time where everyone is just so friendly and just wants to meet you and just wants to have a new group of friends because mostly everyone doesn't know what's going on freshman year. You'll know the college is for you eventually. It might take some time, and honestly, it could not be for you. And then you can just transfer or do something else or join a club or something and make it for you. But you won't know a college is for you until you actually get to that school. How do you prioritize school while trying to get out and socialize as a freshman? This is another hard question. So there's definitely a healthy balance somewhere. What I tend to do, and what I did early on in my freshman year, is I tried to do all my homework that was due for the week on Monday. That way I had the rest of the week to socialize. This worked out great for me, but honestly, you will find time. I really recommend your first semester going out making friends talking to people and all that stuff I wouldn't say prioritize it over school but make it a really close balance you will find your group in college I promise you you will find them that's really my best advice is find a good balance but honestly if you don't find that balance I would socialize a little bit more get all your work done get good grades your freshman year that's really important I actually had a three six my first semester which is very good for me <laughs> so yeah definitely my opinion is reach out to kids make friends join the Facebook page I know a lot of colleges have Facebook pages for freshmen coming into the school like mine was class of 2024 for UNH reach out to a lot of those kids and put a po put a post on there reach out to a lot of those kids get to know people it's really important have your door open the first few weeks you never know who's gonna walk in this stranger that walks in your room one day could literally become your lifelong friend you will make friends I promise don't worry about that by the way for all of you who do not know I'm a freshman at the University of New Hampshire I rushed a fraternity one of the greatest things I ever did if you can rush a fraternity or a sorority I recommend doing it it is a great experience you meet some of your best friends while doing it and then once you're and you just find unbelievable people, people that share the same values as you and all this. The rush process, I would definitely recommend going to a bunch of different ones. Find which one fits best for you and go for that one. And even if you don't get a bid the first time, go back. Some of you might not even know what I'm talking about because I knew nothing about frats and sororities until I came to college. You will figure it out. I highly recommend doing it. It was a great decision. I did it my first semester freshman year to get it done with. And now I just get to reap the benefits for the next three and a half months. And the benefits are way higher than any of the downfalls. Hold on, I want to show you that. My fraternity house is a little bit different than most houses this is actually my fraternity out <laughs> it's a little bit different than most look how beautiful it is oh my god if this video gets enough love i will give you guys a tour eventually i want to start making a lot more videos there but like i said earlier with covid it's very hard and it's also not that interesting because just covid like when it's non-covid oh my god the house is beautiful the fraternity is called sigma beta joining it is one of the greatest things i've ever done in my entire life so yeah i recommend you join a fraternity or sorority that was a little sneak peek of our house. I will show you more eventually if you guys want it. Long hair. Answer one of these. 
Please sit down. Dude, I'm too musty to be in a video. You're a so bit. musty all the time. Yeah. Marcy, how to choose a roommate? How did you choose bed for your That's a great question. Man, slid in my DMs. Facebook groups. Man. Facebook groups, I just said that. Best dorm at UNH? Stoke. Stoke. If you live anywhere but Stoke, you're gonna regret it. Alright, I'm going golfing. Here's a great example of college. In the middle of the day, literally 2 p.m., you go golfing. You do your homework and then you go golfing. I go to class for like two hours a day, I do homework, and then I do whatever I want. And in this case, it's golfing for the fourth day in a row. <laughs> I actually might bring you guys on the golf course for the first time ever. I'm feeling that. Honestly, I'm feeling that. Welcome to an average Wednesday. This is John. Anything you got to say about yourself? Um, just the best goddamn golfer in this universe. John's from Baskin Ridge. Toysy. Next door neighbors with Snooky. Really? Nope. Oh. This is a good question for you, actually, because I'm close to home. How is it being away from your family? They miss me more than I miss them, for That's sure. That's good. Wow. <laughs> really? I'm, I'm a glue guy in my family. The what? The glue guy. The glue guy? You hold them, hold them together? Oh, yeah. Definitely gave it a ride. Not anywhere close to the hole, but definitely gave it a ride. Not a good day on the course, huh? No. We're not playing well. Oh, wow. Someone hit a tree. <laughs> a lot of people want to know, like, what not to forget. Like, clothes-wise, I would say bring, like, your seasonal attire. And then definitely mix in, like, if it's winter, mix in some shorts and stuff. Just in case you want to go to the gym or it's, like, a nice day or something like that. Another sense you want to bring is extra sheets. You really want to change your sheets pretty often because they get pretty gross with whatever you're doing. But they're just gross in general. Because I know after a late night going out, I'm not going to go shower at 3 a.m. I'm going to go to bed. So all the germs from outside, I'm a germaphobe a little bit. But whatever. Another thing. You want party shoes. If you go to a party in nice shoes, they're going to get ruined. You should just have shoes that automatically get ruined. Here are two of them. So these are really bad. Those are disgusting. I wear these like when it's really bad out, like when it's raining right now or snowing, whatever it is. And then these are my party shoes. They're like a little bit nicer, but they're just filthy. Like I'll clean these eventually. Or I can just buy new ones because only like 90 bucks. Bring party shoes. Party shoes are really important. Another thing, if you're going to go party during the day or even at night, bring like a sweatshirt that you're not going to be mad if you lose it because you might take it off you might forget it and then yeah another thing i've learned this is advice now don't bring this to parties or this or i don't even think jack goes to school because he doesn't have his backpack but whatever don't bring backpacks to parties you look so much like a freshman you use these Grocery bags, you use grocery bags. Don't ask me why, I'm just giving you advice. For some reason, everyone uses grocery bags. Maybe it's just at UNH, I don't think it is. You look so much like a freshman with a backpack. You look like you're going to econ or something. Don't wear, don't wear a backpack, bring a grocery bag. Don't ask me why either, I don't know, it's just a thing. All right, I'm gonna search my laundry. Why? Sheesh. Remember those Danimal Crush ads? Brad pledging experience. Oh God. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Joining a frat process. You just go and say, can I join? You literally just say yeah. So like, like, it's just like me and my friends and we just became really close getting to know the brotherhood and just learning about the history of this place. I'm out of content, hell. Just make an OnlyFans, bro. Ooh. This YouTube shit. Let's go, y'all. The Legion. The Legion. Legion. These are all just like frat. Um, why come to UNH, man? Super sick. It's not too big, not too small. Food's fire. You meet auto bids like me. Where's he's an auto bid? Please don't put that in. Only because of his brother. Oh, like, how are the classes? The class like, bro, dude, stop classes drooling. Are, you're just drooling over this woman. It's a Tinder school. For the classes, not hard at all. Yeah, MIS sucks too. MIS sucks, but it's not hard to get a good grade. The teachers aren't bad, it's just some of the classes are like just a pain. There's just so much work for no reason, like MIS. What's a typical day like? Just bumming out all day, doing nothing. All right, we're gonna end it there. Kind of a weird video, but a video to get me back into the YouTube flow. Good luck to all the incoming freshmen, especially at UNH. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you join the 140K Strong Collegiate by liking the video, subscribing, turning your post notifications. And yeah, that's really it. I will see you next time in front of a camera. Hopefully it's not another month and a half. Bye-bye. <laughs>